hello everyone welcome back to my channel hope you are all doing well so today in this video we will discuss about the second question of the model question paper set 2 for the ec branch students okay as in the previous lecture i have discussed the four year series expansion question number 1a so today i will discuss question number 1b okay so expand f of x is equal to 2x minus 1 as a cosine four year series in 0 is less than x less than 1 so uh, let us start the solution for this particular question that is cosine Fourier series so you should remember here the cosine Fourier series expansion is given by f of x is equal to a naught upon 2 plus summation of n running from 1 to infinity a n cos of n pi x okay this is the Fourier series expansion for the cosine right cosine Fourier series expansion now we have to uh, find out the a naught and a n value okay and for cosine Fourier series a naught is equal to 2 upon l integration of 0 to l f of x dx right and also a n a n is equal to 2 upon l integration of 0 to l f of x cos of n pi x upon l dx this is the formula for the cosine Fourier series okay now we have to calculate this a naught and a n value your uh, cosine Fourier series will be ready then okay so let's calculate first a naught so first we have to calculate l value how to calculate l uh, the final interval minus initial interval means 1 minus 0 okay so l is equal to 1 minus 0 if it is uh, 1 2 3 4 like that so 3 minus 0 2 minus 0 5 minus 0 like that okay so your l will be like that <coughs> then a naught we have to calculate so a naught is equal to 2 upon what is the l value 1 okay so 2 by 1 0 to 1 f of x what is the function it is given f of x is equal to 2x minus 1 dx right i can write it 2 integral of 0 to 1 2x okay then i can write minus integral of 1 dx means i am breaking it into the two parts first i am integrating 2x and 1 dx okay so now let me integrate it 0 to 1 which is equal to Two times what is the integration of uh, 2x so 2 will come out it will become 4 right so you are uh, it will be x uh, the, the integration of x will be x square upon 2 okay so x square upon 2 minus integration of 1 dx integration of 1 is always x 1 dx is always x over here okay so your limits will be shipped from 0 to 1 0 to 1 okay so 2 and 2 get cancelled you will get 2 x square minus x and limits will be 0 to 1 right then apply the limits upper limit means 1 1 minus 1 is 0 and lower limit is also 0 so no need to write so you will get see here first upper limit i am applying so 1 square minus 1 minus lower limit 0 square minus 0 okay so this is your 1 minus 1 is 0 so whole term will be 0 so a naught is equal to 0 over here then calculate a n value so a n is equal to 2 by l means 2 by 1 no need to write 1 here so 0 to 1 f of x means same function that is 2 x minus 1 so hope you are following 2 x minus 1 cos of n pi x upon l so this is 1 okay no need to write then 2 x sorry dx which is equal to 2 times integration of uh, 2x minus 1 so you have to apply here Bernoulli's rule of integration as in the previous lecture I have told you about the Bernoulli's rule first keep this 2x minus 1 as it is okay this is your 2x minus 1 as it is integration of cos of n pi x cos of n pi x integration is sine of n pi x and this n pi constant will go down into the denominator this will be your integration of sine of n pi x okay minus differentiation of this term 2x minus 1 so differentiation of 2x is 2 uh, so minus 1 differentiation of 1 is 0 so no need to write then your integration of this term again sine of n pi x integration is minus cos of n pi x upon n pi this is your n pi this is, will be equal n square pi square right so this is your integration so limits will shift from 0 to 1 0 to 1 right so now this is sin n pi x whenever you uh, apply the limit i have told you in uh, the previous lecture that wherever you find sin of n pi it is always equal to 0 okay 
so sin n pi x will get eliminated okay what you will get now 2 times this uh, minus into minus is plus 2 times cos of n pi x upon n square pi square 0 to 1 is the limit okay so 2 and 2 4 this is n square pi square right so inside i will get cos of n pi x 0 to 1 is the limit now apply the limits 4 upon n square pi square this is your cos of n pi x means 1 you have to put this is upper limit minus cos of n pi into 0 right so which is equal to 4 upon n square pi square this is your cos of n pi minus cos of 0 cos of 0 is 1 i can write it as 4 upon n square pi square this one i am taking here so i will take minus common from inside so i will get 1 minus cos of n pi see here this is your minus 1 into 1 minus 1 minus into minus plus cos of n pi so cos of n pi is plus over there okay i have taken minus common so minus 4 upon n square pi square 1 minus cos of n pi is equal to cos of n pi is equal to minus 1 raised power n you should remember this one okay so cos of n pi is equal to minus 1 raised power n so i can write minus 1 raised power n this is your a n term okay now put the a n a naught value and a n value in the fourier series expansion see fourier series expansion is this one a naught by 2 plus this summation of uh, a n cos of n by x let me put it down here so a naught value is 0 f of x is equal to a naught is 0 so no need to write summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity a n value a n is this one minus 4 upon n square pi square 1 minus minus 1 raised power n and also cos of n pi x see here a n cos of n pi x so this is your final Fourier cosine series over here okay so this is cosine Fourier series from the interval 0 is uh, less than x less than 1 I hope uh, this is clear to you people okay make sure you will share this video to all your friends who actually need it so thanks for watching my video <coughs>